before I start, I have a little cold. My life must have. So my former speech is going to be on tobacco use. Uh, tobacco products are the single most traded item on the planet, with approximately one trillion being sold from country to country each year. At a global take of more than 400 billion, it is one of the world's largest industries. With all of us being in college, we all know someone, or maybe even ourselves, who has succumbed to the harmful use of tobacco products such as cigarettes, chew, and cigars. Even though I rarely use tobacco products, my grandpa is a heavy user, but also an avid gardener. He says that he uses aphids, which contains tobacco, as an insect repellent in his garden. Even though tobacco is very harmful for your body, there are many good uses for it that many people overlook. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the bad, but mostly the good uses for tobacco products that most people do not know about. First, I'm going to discuss some of the historical roots of tobacco. According to CNN.com, the article, A Brief History of Tobacco, tobacco was first used by people in the pre-Columbian Americas. Native Americans cultivated the plant and smoked it in pipes for medicinal and ceremonial purposes. When Christopher Columbus first came to America, he, he brought back a few tobacco leaves and seeds. But Europeans got their first taste of tobacco in the mid-16th century when Jean Nicot, for whom nicotine is named after, began to popularize its use. The first successful commercial crop was cultivated in Virginia in the year 1612, and in seven years, it became the colony's largest export. In the early days of tobacco, it was used for pipe smoking, chewing, and snuff. The negative health effects of tobacco were not known until the 1930s, but most people did not take these negative health effects seriously until the 1950s, when it started to be linked with cancer. Since everyone knows about how harmful tobacco is, I won't get into that, but I'm going to enlighten you on some of the good. My grandfather, like I said earlier, has been an avid gardener ever since my mom can remember, and one of his secrets to keeping insects from ruining his crop supply was by using tobacco. By simply soaking as little as a cigarette amount of tobacco in a quart of water overnight, uh, the nicotine released in the water will create an all-purpose insect repellent. Gophers and moles have, all, have, all, have always been considered my grandfather's worst enemies, and to keep them out of his garden, he takes some tobacco and shoves it down a, down a gopher hole, and he says that they don't notice his crops anymore. For medicinal use, there are studies being performed on tobacco use as pain relievers. Even though this is proven to work, the tests they are running are to remove the addictive parts for medical purposes. According to readynutrition.com, Indians used a poultice, which is a soft, moist, massive material, typically a plant material, plant material or flower, of tobacco leaves and place them in their mouths to alleviate pain from toothaches. In, in India, powdered tobacco is rubbed on the teeth for cleaning. This method is still used in India and marketed all around the country. Indians believe that the nicotine in tobacco would help relieve pain from snake bite wounds as well as help draw out the poison. After the poison has been sucked out, chewed leaves could be applied to cuts or bound on the bite with a bandage. This method can also be used when stuck by an insect. In conclusion, tobacco products have been and are still very popular in this day and age. Most people think about tobacco and automatically think about the harmful uses that it is associated with. Even though it is mainly used to smoke or chew, there are many good things that it can be used for. Hopefully that through my speech, you can now think of tobacco as well as many other things that people consider bad and look at the good things that you can do with it. Thank you for listening. Any questions?